Doom was the first game where I felt like I shouldn't be doing something because maybe it was overly violent. It was, it was something new. It was something different. It was incredibly gory. It was detailed for the time. I think what really uh, drew myself and others to Doom was the experience of being able to be the player in the game. You're walking through this experience and you are hearing sounds as you walk. Well, I think that uh, Doom is actually the historical start. I know there were first-person shooters before it, but it is the historical start of what exposed mass audiences to first-person shooters for the first time. When Doom came out, other game developers saw it and went, uh-oh, time to redo what we're already doing because that works. So I would like to think that there was a lot of games in the works that immediately got scrapped and then first person, that mode, the, what they, that path that they blazed, just completely changed the entire industry and became the new norm. Back then, it was pushing uh, hardware to definitely to the limits. I had like a, 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 I think still at the time, I was actually only on like a 386, uh, you know, in between the big, uh, before 486s really kind of took off and it, it was, it, it struggled. My story of getting Doom multiplayer working is one that has blood, sweat, and tears uh, because it was not easy. It wasn't like there were some simple instructions that were like, hey, just launch this EXE, put in your buddy's IP address, and you're playing. No, it was launch this EXE with these parameters that have all of your modem parameters, including what your modem speed is, the phone number, uh, you know, the parity, everything. Like it was, it was a command line that was like this long in order to be able to uh, get the get the game going. saw the trailer it brought me back to being a kid going I probably shouldn't be playing this again it just seemed like the perfect way to be overdone in terms of violence and in terms of really just it seemed like it really captures its roots its heritage and says this is the other first-person shooters are doing this this is the way we're gonna do it we're gonna be graphically violent we're gonna question we're gonna make you question what you're playing and I really think that there's a there's a, a, a place for that I think as long as they keep the game simple the way it was and don't get into, when you talk about Call of Duty and all these other titles, you're throwing shields down, there's like this person over here operating something. It's very complicated these days to play a first person shooter. Doom and I would say Halo the original are the ones that really did it right in my opinion. Those were the games that I liked where it was simply run and gun. You have a gun, go shoot something. Doom in and of itself, I think, is such a huge, almost, you know, global franchise that people recognize, but they may not have even played before. And, you know, like, I find that really interesting because there's not that many games out there that have that sort of level of notoriety. Like, I look at a game like Street Fighter, most people can name a Street Fighter character. You look at a game like Pokemon and most people can at least identify Pikachu regardless of whether they've ever played a game. You know, you can show someone the Doom Marine and they can be like, yeah, that guy's from Doom. You know, have they played the original games? Maybe not, but that shows me that Doom has a massive cultural impact on the games industry.